Hello everyone, today I'm going to do a video on rollout. Now, for people who are entering into 112 scale or 110 scale pan car classes, you'll hear this term thrown around the pits a lot. And, you know, for beginners, they might get a little confused because, you know, they're, they might have been in uh, a touring background for some time and, you know, they just deal with, you know, the internal ratio and a fixed gear ratio. Well, with 112 scale and 110 scale, you're going to be dealing with terminology such as rollout. So you won't hear, hey, what's your gear ratio? You're going to hear, hey, what's your rollout? What rollout are you running with your motor? What rollout are you going to be running with your track? And these are all important things to take uh, note of because, you know, the size of your tire, the type of motor you have, and the size of track that you're on, you will have to take those uh, factors in consideration to determine your rollout. Now, what is rollout? Rollout is just simply how far the car will travel forward for each revolution of the pinion gear. All right, so when the pinion gear does a complete 360, that will determine the distance and how far the car will have traveled forward. Now, you don't necessarily have to do this at all with touring cars, uh, you know, because with touring cars, you have an internal, you have an internal gear ratio. You have all those belts and pulleys um, that you have to, you know, factor in when you're figuring out your final gear ratio. But the thing is, though, with direct drive classes, such as 112 scales and 110 scales, or whatever class that runs a di direct drive axle like this, you're going to be dealing with rollout because there's really, there's no internal gear ratio to worry about. It's direct. It's a gear ratio of one to one. The pinion is, the motor is basically direct with the axle, basically the drive line. So you're going to have to factor in, um, Roll, roll out more than uh, your uh, gear ratio. So take the whole idea about gear ratio and throw that out the window. Um, now, the thing is though, with um, with rollout, you know, you can, uh, you can adjust rollout by your tire diameter. So the size of your tire, you know, a larger tire will give you a bigger rollout, but that doesn't necessarily mean you'll be fast on the track layout that you'll be running on. You know, very well, uh, the track is very tight and technical, so you don't necessarily want to have a big rollout. You know, you want to probably have a smaller rollout to give that motor the ability to unwind and accelerate. Um, so there's lots of things that uh, factor into rollout. Your tire size. Uh, you know, a big tire will allow the car to travel a longer distance. A smaller tire will obviously allow the uh, car to travel a shorter distance. All right. Uh, same goes with uh, your pinion and spur gear. Um, if you have a small uh, pinion and a big spur gear, uh, the car won't travel as far. It will travel a short distance. Uh, now, with a big pinion and a small spur gear, your car is going to travel a farther distance than with a small pinion and a big spur. Okay, I hope this isn't uh, messing anything up, but uh, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is measure uh, your foam tire, all right, just the rear, because you know the front has nothing to do with uh, the the rollout basically just deal with what's going on back here so you just measure your foam tire um, and then uh, you take your uh, pinion gear and your spur gear and you can easily go online and find uh, uh, an app or a calculation to calculate uh, your rollout but um, it's something that you need to take in consideration when you are racing competitively uh, in any pan car class. Um, I'm just trying to think of anything else. Uh, you can easily find the calculation um, on the internet. Uh, I won't bother explaining that. It's pretty easy to do. 
just type in rollout calculator on Google or whatever search engine you'll be able to find it. But the one that's one thing that's very important to keep in mind is when you're calculating rollout, you need to determine what motor you're running. If you're running a stock motor, you're going to run a bigger uh, rollout. Uh, with a modified motor, you're going to be running a smaller rollout. So example here, I have a Fleta uh, ZX 3.5 motor, modified motor. As you can see here, I have a big spur gear and a small pinion. All right, so this is a big motor. This is a powerful motor. So I got tons of power to work with. Now the thing is though, I don't need this car to go like a rocket ship. Uh, well, obviously I do on the track, but like I want to gear my, I want to set up my rollout so that my car will be efficient and quick. And the rollout for like a modified motor, like generally speaking, you're looking around 30 to 35 millimeters for rollout. Okay, 35 millimeter rollout uh, is a general ballpark. It, it's all track dependent, it's all motor dependent, it's all rotor dependent. Uh, there's so many there's so many factors uh, that uh, are involved with uh, rollout, but don't worry about it. You know, just go to the local fast guy and say, hey, you know, what are you running for rollout? He'll give you probably a ballpark and you just work from there. But another thing you need to keep in mind is he might be running a different manufacturer motor, so you know you have to take that in consider consideration. So rollout, you have to do a lot of test and tuning and figuring out what works with your motor. Now, timing also has a factor with your rollout. Um, depending on what direction you go with rollout, you're going to have to adjust it accordingly. So you know, if you, for example, if I was to turn up the timing on this motor. I probably want to go down a few teeth on this uh, pinion gear because obviously when you turn the timing up it will generate more heat and you know it might reduce overall power or even run time of my, of my uh, vehicle but uh, uh, just basically you want to figure out what motor you're running what track size you're running at and uh, just ask some of the guys at the track, they'll help you out. Don't worry about it. But if you do have any questions, uh, please leave a message. And last but not least, you know, for here's another comparison. This is the stock 21.5. This is this is the 21.5, so it's a complete opposite to what I was showing you before with that modified. So as you can see here, a big pinion with a small spur gear. All right. So that's pretty much it. You can see the opposites. You know, if you have a big motor, you want to run a smaller rollout. With a small, in a somewhat underpowered motor, you want to run a big pinion and a small spur gear. And um, I think that's pretty much it. Um, you're just going to have to test and tune, you know, it's not oh it's not necessarily always the case where you know if you keep going up with the rollout the car will get faster you have to test and tune and find the sweet spot for that motor even if your buddy has the same motor as you you know like a reedy you know 135 you know there could be some slight performance differences between the two motors even though that they're the same motor come from the same company each motor is different, so you're going to have to test and tune which rollout will work for your motor. All right, and have fun with it. You know, that's the part of RC racing is, you know, testing, 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 and figuring out what works best for your motor. All right, so that's rollout. You can go online. You can find calculators. You can download an app, which I have here. Uh, this guy right here, RC Ratio. Click that, there you go. You can choose your spur, your pinion, your internal ratio, which is should be do, 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 do. Oh, oh, which which should be one, one to one. Uh, uh, come on, there we go. And then you choose your tire diameter as I was 42 millimeters. Boom, there's your rollout.
don't worry about the ratio, just look at the rollout and you're good to go. All right, uh, but there's tons of rollout calculators out on the internet. You can even just uh, bust out a calculator and figure it out for yourself. All right, I hope this video was a help. I, uh, sorry if I was repeating too much, but there you go. That's a little uh, info on rollout. Okay, bye-bye.